And there it is, the first two times we played Fenway. And now we're gonna be playing it a third time. I can't wait, I'm so excited. Um, go to redsox.com slash new kids on the block to get uh, tickets. Pre-sales start tomorrow, general on sales Friday. I'm just really excited that uh, It'll be our only show for the whole year, aside from the cruise, and I'm really excited. Can't wait. Um, the other guys are not so excited. Eh, not so much. Headed to the gym, get my workout in. Got to be ready for the cruise and got to be ready for Fenway. What's up, everyone? We're here at Fenway um, doing some press for our September 19th show here with Belle Biv DeVoe. So excited to be here. As you can see, there it is, folks. Fenway Park, Boston, Massachusetts. I hope everyone's going to be there. General on sale is uh, 12 p.m. on Friday. I'm just really excited here with the other guys. They're all getting groomed for some TV interviews. But I'm really, really happy to be here and I can't wait to see you guys in September. And I'm out! What's up? It's the new kids on the block! What's up? What's up? Come see us, Fenway Park, September 19th, Boston, Mass. Kiss 108. Hey. A little strange that I'm here doing Shakespeare in Jersey while my boys are promoting our Fenway show. But way to go, guys. Good work. I'll see you soon. Austin sports fans. What, what would you like to say to Tom? I mean, can you think maybe new kids on the block could convince him to stay? Oh. He needs convincing, right? <laughs> okay. I, I think he's going to stay. I don't know why you he do. would leave. Tom's why would he leave? He's stay. No, I agree. Why? Why Why would? Why do I think he's going to stay? No, I'm saying I agree with you. Why yeah, would he why, Where is he going to go? You know, I, the first thing I say to, like, these sports guys, because I talk to a lot of them, I, you know, they'll say, well, he put his house for sale. I said, have you ever sold a $50 million house? Do you know how long that usually takes? Like... I think Regis oh, hey, Philbin's no. 20 million. Exactly. Nobody has. <laughs> <laughs> it takes like 10 years to sell it, and it's usually like for a third of the price. Like John's a real estate guy. He'll tell you, you if you want to sell a $50 million house, you have you, it takes you about six years maybe. You if better call Oprah. That's me. right. <laughs> That's right. Oprah, buy this. Buy my house. Please. Please. No, right. No. So, so I, I think it makes complete sense. I mean, yes, I... Everyone thinks he's going to go to the Chargers, yes. who have a great quarterback who just retired. So now it is a little scary that he could possibly. But what's he going to do on a team who's going to pay him $40 million and he's not going to have any wide receivers to throw to there because he's getting all the money? Stay here. Let Belichick rebuild around you. I love We've this. got a great D. It's a great family in New England. And we come back and get number seven. And just so you know, rumor has it that Giselle hates L.A. anyway. So, you know, See? I think she, you know she's wearing the pants in a relationship. See? So. Do you have like a pre-show meal? Like, like, the, are you like an athlete where you have to eat the same thing before a new kid show? No, I just try to keep it light because the last thing you want to be is on stage feeling full. It's yeah. not you don't feel very attractive, so <laughs> you know, I try to keep it lean and light. Apparently, I'm told that you're a fan of the show. Is that uh, I am a huge fan of the show. I listen to you guys every morning while I'm working out. So this is kind of surreal for me because. You know, since you moved to this station, I've been listening to you guys, and I kind of feels like family, even though I'm not part of the family. Like Aww. I'm visiting, I'm visiting. Yeah, well, it's gonna be if Danielle gets her way, it's gonna be like incest. So, uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, don't make it weird, guy. Come on, this is my Christmas. 
got to follow up hanging tough. So it's, you know, we were nervous because it was so successful. And then, it, you know, at that point, it had, you know, four hit singles, four or five hit singles off of that. So right. we had to kind of live up to that. So Step by Step was actually a song by Maurice Starr, right. producer and writer, had written it for another group. What was the name of Does anyone remember the name of the Superiors. group? Superiors. 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 Like wow. a local group he produced it for. We always loved the song. So we were always hinting at, like, can we get that song? Can we uh, do that? that song? Yeah. <laughs> Superiors. <laughs> we, we jacked it. We jacked it. <laughs> Did it. I I couldn't press the button. I didn't know how to stop it. I was like I was like 